Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video i'll talk about new sequence paint where i'll show you a very simple wire removal process so without wasting any more further time let's get started Okay guys, so right now we are in Nuke and this is a little bit of older version and guys, if you are still not subscribed to VFX World, please do subscribe and follow us on our social media handles. All links are in description box below. Go and check it out. So uh, this is a very simple footage. I have only five frames. Uh, so what are you trying to remove it uh, where? So this is a main footage. So I removed this where on this one. So this is a very very simple sequence paint nuke tutorial after a long time I am making a nuke tutorial so guys please watch it completely I hope you will love this a lot okay so first of all just simply control C and control V this footage here and after that I am taking a very simple roto paint node by pressing P you can take this roto paint node make sure this roto paint node is basically a very heavy node so don't use it in complete one node try to use a different different node so very first step is first connect this and take a dot here and simply connect it to here and then connect it to this BG okay so this is the very first step press 1 to view this so this is a main footage so if you have a specific clean plate before starting this your work so then you can use that on this area or else you have to make a clean plate so in this case I want to clean this wire here so simply select this clone stamp tool or clone tool in nuke this is called as clone tool here we can find these many options this is over this is like blending modes and all this is a color palette this is opacity like uh, how much transparency you want this is the size of the brush by pressing shift and drag you can exactly increase the size of this brush and there's a hardness if you really want a very sharp clean then you can increase the hardness but basically we are using 0.2 and most of the time zero to make a very featherable uh, hardness after that these two options are not needed right now uh, this option is very much important this is a very single frame paint and uh, this is a, like from start this is all as you all understand this is a two end and this is a complete frame range and this is the most important step which I'll describe later so this is a by default it will be uh, FG then BG BG1 BG2 BG3 okay uh, this is the onion one this option will be only usable when we are doing a next frame and previous frame cleanup okay and this is the onion transparency and that's it so first of all if you really want to uh, clean any specific area just simply press ctrl and drag so this is your clean source like source plate and this will be your output so just release it and simply start cleaning make sure you only need to clean that area which is really needed don't clean unwanted areas that can be make a jitter on your painted output okay so let's clean this complete one so i have successfully cleaned up everything here so this is my main input and this is my clean plate which is pretty nice okay so i have only five frames as i told before so first of all this is a clean plate so after that we are not using same thing here on this roto paint node just press p here to take another roto paint node and simply drag it to here control and make it something like that and again take a dot here this is the most important step guys then after after that connect this to your this roto paint node so it means everything which is coming from the main clean plate that will be your this roto paint node okay so after that just press one to view this so this will be your painted part and this will be your next part that will be painted so now go to the second frame so you have to clean up this frame by taking the previous frame reference okay so first of all double click on this roto paint node select this tool and after that from fg change it to bg1 now why bg1 let me tell you that first this output is connected to this one so this is exactly called bg1 see this is bg1 so that's why we are taking from fg to bg1 and now the all the settings are a little bit of change so we have introduced this option called relative and absolute relative means if you really want to paint a previous frame you just have to change it to like minus one so that everything which will be painted with that reference should be taken from the last frame or the previous frame but if you really want to the next frame then you have to use like plus two like this one plus two or like plus three or plus one something like that so that means the reference will be taken from the next frame okay and this will be like absolute that means like if you have any specific frame range like if I want Want to take the reference from like 100 number frame or like 222 something like that so then you have to specify the proper frame range number on that absolute mode so that you can exactly 
take those reference from that specific frame so in this case i am taking this relative here and making to minus one because we are taking reference from frame number one and we are pasting that on frame number two i hope guys you understand what i am trying to tell you if there is any issue comment down below on this comment section i will definitely help you out so after that what you have to do you have to turn on this onion option when you turn on this you can exactly see something is happening here so this is our main plate which is exactly top of this the painted plate so the shortcut of this toggle is t so just press t here so this is our main frame which will be the painted and this is the previous frame so by pressing the num key 8 6 4 and 2 you can exactly move here so i'm just pressing 8 here to move it top and pressing 2 to move it down pressing 4 to move it here and pressing 6 to make it in right okay so just press ctrl z here so let's make it default and now we are exactly matching with these two plates to paint out the specific one okay so just match with this by pressing 8 i am now matching it completely and now pressing t toggle you can exactly see that it's exactly matching or not so just it should be a little bit up here like this now see it's almost matching now the main thing is it will not match the complete area it should be matched on the specific area that will be the painted part so guys in this tutorial i'm doing it very roughly you can take your own time and make it more precise now here is an option you can exactly rotate this just press control here you can see this rotation panel you can exactly rotate this one so that you can match it completely or else you can like scale it up sometimes these things are really needed because this footage should be move it in perspective then you can exactly do it so i think it's almost matched here so right now we are in second number frame without onion skin on and then just simply start painting like this make sure you have to paint a few part and then move back and move forward to check there is any jerk or not so i think this is completely okay and let's paint this area completely successfully you have to paint it like normally and again guys don't paint unwanted areas that can be create a very bad jerk on your main output so the second frame is painted successfully let's go to the back frame and the front frame see both the frames are exactly well painted so guys in this way you can move forward and you can take reference from the previous frame like second number frame and you can exactly start painting on this third frame you can also take reference from the first frame and paint it on the third frame as well so guys i hope you understand what i'm trying to show you by using very very simple sequence paint process next time i'll make an another video in detailed sequence paint and guys if you really love this video then don't forget to subscribe to vfx world and also follow us on our social media handles facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in the description box below hope you guys are all safe guys so see you next time bye bye